This right here is the best value PC of all time and it just single-handedly dismantled the reign of the budget Windows PC. It now comes with 60 gigs of RAM, it literally fits in your pocket, and it's only 600 bucks. Oh wait, no, it's actually 550 bucks on Amazon right now. And in this two week review, I'm gonna prove to you how this killed the Windows PC market, not only with performance numbers like how one YouTuber compared it to the best value mini PCs out there and showed insane results, but also by explaining Apple's master plan with this mini PC, having every intention to take over the PC market for good. And based on what I'm gonna show you in this video, the entire Windows PC market is in deep trouble. And no, that's not just me saying it, I carefully studied the sentiment of Linus Tech Tips forums and even from Linus himself and made some shocking discoveries. So before I get into the different issues that Apple cleverly fixed with the M4 Mac Mini, which is making so many people so excited about it, I've gotta talk about how this thing destroys the company competition in every single way. Elevated Systems made a video comparing the M4 Mac Mini to quite literally the best value mini PCs out there, which you can see on the screen with all of them having 32 gigs of RAM, including one with the latest and greatest Lunar Lake chip, and one with the very powerful HX370 from AMD, which were both almost twice as expensive as the M4 Mac Mini. Now, while the Mini didn't win in some of the performance benchmarks like Cinebench 2024 multi-core, it was the clear winner in terms of performance per watt, and it destroyed the rest in real-world app performance like Microsoft productivity apps, Photoshop performance being 28% faster than the best AMD chip. It was almost as good in After Effects much faster in Premiere Pro and even faster in DaVinci Resolve, which are both video editing apps, and it was 2.5 times faster than Lunar Lake, which was second place in terms of Blender GPU rendering, which is nuts. And although I wouldn't recommend buying the Mac Mini for gaming, it outperformed all of the other mini PCs in terms of FPS and Baldur's Gate 3, and Counter-Strike 2. But the most important thing of all was this chart, which showed the price to performance, basically averaging all the scores to the cost, essentially giving double the value compared to the latest and greatest Lunar Lake and AMD mini PCs. So if you're a PC fan, you might argue that you could probably just build a custom PC setup that can outperform this at the same price, right? Well, that's exactly what Linus and Luke from Linus Tech Tips did during the WAN show a couple of weeks ago, and the result was a bit embarrassing. They configured our system with the same 256 gigs of SSD storage, they completely cut out any Windows software, and they sacrificed multiple components like a 10-core CPU and better GPU to try to save more money. They literally had to go down to an RTX 3050 and an 8-core Ryzen 7700X CPU, which are both compared to the M4 and they ended up at $798.87. And keep in mind, you have to assemble all of those parts by yourself. Or you could just buy the M4 Mac Mini on Amazon for 550 bucks, link below, and all you have to do is plug it in and turn it on. And it's actually a lot smaller than the mini ATX case that they chose, which is actually huge. A total of 26.3 liters in terms of volume, which is literally 32.6 times bigger than the M4 Mac Mini's volume, which is only 0.8 liters. And on top of that, the M4 Mini would realistically be faster in terms of real world performance tasks, and all of that for 550 bucks instead of $789. But first, I wanna show you the fastest wireless iPhone charger I've ever seen. The Anchor Mago Wireless Charger Stand from our sponsor, Anchor, which supports 15 watt ultra fast charging, which is fully compatible with Apple's original MagSafe and will charge your device faster than Apple's latest 25 watt MagSafe charger, according to data certified by TUV Rhinelands Laboratory, while this 
15 watt charger is able to charge your device twice as fast as other normal 7.5 watt wireless chargers. You can use it in vertical mode, which is great at your desk for doing things like watching short videos. And it also supports 360 degree rotation for easy landscape viewing of videos or movies completely hands-free. Or you can also enter standby mode. Even better, the charging surface can be adjusted from 20 degrees to 90 degrees, which makes it easy to get the perfect angle. You can easily charge things like your AirPods right on top. They also have their really cool Anchor MagGo wireless charging station, three in one foldable pad with an ultra compact design for portability, which looks like a little UFO that's as small as Apple's AirPods Pro 2. All you gotta do is unfold it like this and you can charge your iPhone, your AirPods, and your Apple Watch simultaneously in one charging station. For the iPhone, it supports 15 watt ultra fast wireless charging, twice as fast as the typical 7.5 watt wireless charger. It's also got the made for watch certification from Apple, which means that the new Apple Watch Series 10 charges from zero to 100% in one hour and 17 minutes. And the really cool thing is that you can use it as a stand, which also supports standby mode. So go ahead and use the links in the description and pinned comment below to order both the Anchor MagGo wireless charging stand and Anchor MagGo 3-in-1 foldable pad UFO today. So in terms of performance, we've already ruled out the best of the best value mini PCs. None of them can get anywhere close to competing with the Mac mini. And we just ruled out building your own custom PC with both options being much more expensive. The only area that the Windows PCs win is for gaming, but you're gonna have to spend a lot more money than 800 bucks to get a nice gaming setup, and even more if you want a decent gaming laptop. So the M4 Mac Mini is truly the best value PC you can buy right now, especially if you consider resale value. And I think this comment on Linus Tech Tips forums sums it up the best. This is the most beautifully and thoughtfully crafted small form factor PC of all time, with an internal power supply being powerful, efficient, starting with 16 gigs of memory, being ridiculously small, and coming at a reasonable price. It really has it all. There's no catch. Another Linus Tech Tips forum poster said he was embarrassed to say that he ordered a base M4 Mac Mini to replace his Windows Mini PC, and that after having his M1 MacBook Air for a year now, he's done with x86 and Windows in general. So with that said, let me finish off with Apple's master plan for the M4 Mac Mini. This genius plan is to essentially create a mini PC that's impossibly small, yet powerful, but instead of pushing up the price, which they honestly could have done seeing how good of a value this is, they kept the price the same, even with doubling the base RAM to 16 gigs, all with the intention of doing what they just did over the past two weeks destroying the competition in such an obvious way that it's completely undeniable that the M4 Mac Mini is the best value PC of all time, beating out every possible Windows budget PC solution. And just to put the nail in the coffin, they did something very clever. They put the SSD NAND chips on an easily removable card to completely shift the sentiment that people have over Apple's soldered in RAM and it's working. The sentiment on Mac Rumors forums and Linus Tech Tips forums sounds very hopeful over this upgradable SSD situation with iFixit sounding pretty happy about the change and and DOS Dude one on YouTube, proving on day one that you can upgrade the storage. But best of all, there's already somebody working on third-party SSD storage upgrade cards, which he's already created for the Mac Studio, and he's launching them very soon. So this hopeful sentiment takes all the worries away, as well as, of course, 16 gigs of base RAM and the M4 chip finally being powerful enough for almost everyone. We actually compared the $600 M4 Mac Mini to other desktop Macs, like the $1,600 M4 Pro Mac Mini and the $2,400 M2 Max Mac Studio, and my conclusion was just to simply buy 
the $600 Mac Mini, or four of them in the case of the Mac Studio. Since it's fast enough for most people, and for the storage issue, just pick up one of these Sabrent Nano SSDs, which has two terabytes of storage for only 200 bucks on Amazon. And the best part is that you have the freedom to buy whatever mouse, keyboard, and monitor that you want, like this guy on Mac Rumors planning on buying a cheap $100 monitor for a budget PC setup. So with all that said, I think Apple's master plan for this Mac Mini was successful, releasing a cheap yet mighty $600 mini PC at literally the perfect time when the economy isn't looking so great so people are spending less money on tech products, which is very apparent if you consider the fact that this year, 55% of iPhone sales are coming from the base iPhone 16 and 16 Plus, while for the past two years, the Pro Max was by far the best selling model. So yeah, people are trying to save money right now and this M4 Mac Mini came at the perfect time with the perfect price, which in my opinion is gonna take the tech world by storm and cause a lot of custom PC fans to buy a plug and play M4 Mac Mini and forget about ever building their own PC ever again. And that is how the M4 Mac Mini just killed the budget Windows PC market. It's a mini PC that really has it all. There's no catch. So hopefully you enjoyed this two week review. And if you did, let me know if you're a custom Windows PC fan that's considering buying the base M4 Mac Mini. And definitely subscribe above for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.